A new scientific study has found dangerously high levels of PFAS, also known as the forever chemicals, in fish in the Great Lakes. Environmental experts say that could pose a serious risk to humans. CBS 58's Adam Reif is live along the lakefront tonight to explain. Adam? Well, these chemicals have been a problem for years. They're very prevalent and they do not break down easily. They've already contaminated public water systems and now they've been confirmed in fish here in the Great Lakes. Sadly, I wasn't surprised. Um, we, you know, we do know that we have PFAS in our water samples. Milwaukee Riverkeeper Cheryl Nen said it was inevitable. The study from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency showed locally caught fish throughout the U.S. are full of dangerous synthetic toxins. These findings are most concerning for people who eat freshwater fish. Once ingested, PFAS chemicals can wreak havoc on the body. It can impact almost every organ in the body. The immune system is particularly sensitive to these types of chemicals. They've been linked to several types of cancer and can disrupt hormones. Dr. Tasha Stoiber said eating just four contaminated meals a year could almost double the level of PFAS in a person's blood. The river keepers are currently awaiting sample results taken from Milwaukee's rivers. They'll definitely be positive, I think, and they'll inform a lot of the fish consumption guidance that Unfortunately, we'd already have because of other contaminants. Consumption guidelines already recommend just one serving per month for certain populations. The new study could create a chain reaction that impacts the economy. A commercial fisherman said it's a troubling story, but told us DNR experts have repeatedly said the levels in whitefish are, quote, well below any need for health advisory. I think there's really no practical way of removing a lot of these contaminants once they get into our waters. Research is ongoing, but science has a long way to go to even make a dent. This widespread contamination. This is a result of decades use of these chemicals that were virtually unregulated. Now there are a whole lot of things still to study and the Milwaukee River Keepers will keep an eye on some of the results from those uh, from the testing when they pulled those samples from the river and that's ongoing all throughout the country. The data that was used in this study is only from 2013 and 2015. It is likely that those levels are even higher. Live along Milwaukee's lakefront, Adam Rive, CBS 58 News.